Well, uh, you know, and let, let me move on uh, to, to my point here. So the point is that what you're telling us is that um, you were uh, in financial straits, but really that your testimony today is you had a cash hoard of maybe up to $10,000 in cash where you laid your head at night so that you would dip out and there would be no record of it, correct? That's not what I'm telling you, sir. That's not, that's not at all what I'm telling you. What I'm telling you is that throughout the course of my life, I have always kept cash in my house. That cash has ranged from times, you know, my father would probably be ashamed of this because he would say it should be more, but that time, that cash at times has ranged from $500 to maybe $9,000. And he, he would be like, that is not what I told you to do. Um, I've always had that amount of money. What I've told you is that when I travel, you do better negotiating when you travel. If you have cash, you can you go to get the cab. They say, oh, we're going to charge you 300 for the day. Well, I got American cash. Will you take it for 150 And so it's my practice to take money when I travel. We're not talking about a whole lot of money. We're going to the Bahamas. 1500 in cash is in my pocket or at the most 2500 Belize, was actually probably the most money I've ever taken. And it was taken because it was a big deal. My 50th birthday sucked. His 50th birthday, it, it sucked. It was terrible. No. Your Honor, and so I'm back to some questions here. I'm, I'm than, trying to answer it. The narrative would help for you. Bunny Willis's financial account, raising skepticism about the credibility of her testimony. Specifically, doubts arise regarding the claimed amount of cash she asserts to possess and the motivations behind it. The focus is on examining the coherence and consistency of her narrative, with a suggestion that her mention of cash negotiations may be a tactic to deflect attention from fundamental inquiries about her financial standing. This diversion is perceived as an attempt to avoid direct responses to concerns about her financial position. Additionally, questions Willis's decision to highlight her 50th birthday as a milestone justifying additional funds for the occasion, interpreting it as a personal perspective. Emphasizing the importance of transparency and direct answers in high-profile legal proceedings involving prosecutors calls for clearer and more direct responses to the questions raised.